How do you counter a reactionary international? By developing a progressive international. And there are steps to that. They don't get much publicity. But uh, uh, this, I think it's this coming December, there'll be a formal announcement of what has been in process for some time. Uh, uh, Yanis Varoufakis, the founder and leading figure in GM25, the uh, progressive uh, movement in Europe, very important. Uh, Varoufakis and Bernie Sanders uh, came out with a declaration calling for a progressive international to uh, combat and we hope overcome the reactionary international based in the White House. Now, if you look at the level of states, this looks like an extremely unequal uh, competition. But states are not the only things that exist. If you look at the level of people, it's not impossible. It's possible to construct a progressive international based on people, uh, ranging from the organized political groups that have been proliferating, that have gotten a huge shot in the arm from the Sanders campaign, uh, ranging from them to self-help, mutual aid, self-help organizations that are arising in communities all over the world, in the uh, in most impoverished areas of Brazil, for example. And even this astonishing fact that I mentioned, that the murderous crime gangs are taking responsibility for bringing some form of uh, uh, decent uh, protection against the pandemic and the favelas, the miserable slums in Rio. Uh, all of this is happening on the popular level. If it expands and develops, if people don't just give up and despair, but work to change the world as they've done in the past under much worse conditions, if they do that, there's a chance for a progressive international. And notice, bear in mind that there are also striking cases of internationalism, progressive internationalism at the state level. So take a look at the European Union. Uh, the rich countries in Europe, like Germany, have recently given us a lesson in just what the union means, right? Germany's managing pretty well. They probably have the lowest death rate in the world. It's an organized society. Uh, right next door, northern Italy is suffering miserably. Is Germany giving them any aid? No. In fact, Germany even blocked the effort to develop euro bonds, general uh, bonds in Europe, which could be used to alleviate the suffering in the countries under worse the worst conditions. But fortunately for Italy, it can look across the Atlantic for aid from the superpower on the Western Hemisphere, Cuba. Cuba is once again, as before, exhibiting extraordinary internationalism, sending doctors to Italy. Germany won't do it, but Cuba can. Uh, uh, China is providing material aid. Uh, so these are steps towards progressive internationalism at the state level.